This new Amazon Blink mini camera is pretty sweet, full HD. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with your next review video. It's a small box, we'll technically unbox it, but it's gonna be for the new Blink camera mini, the mini Blink camera. I was able to get my hands on this with an Echo Show 8. That's an eight inch Echo Show. I have a five, unfortunately it wasn't shipped in time. They actually shipped this first, but definitely pay attention to Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. I actually bought this combination on Prime Day, but I guarantee you they're going to come back out with this deal. I paid like $80 and a little bit of change for the Echo Show 8 and the Blink Mini camera. It was a fantastic Prime Day deal. I expect it again to be for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, so I'm reviewing it now so you guys can learn more about it. Pick one up yourself. I'll link it in the description box below. You can pick it up now if you want or pick it up closer to Black Friday. I'm expecting big things from this. Obviously, Blink cameras are high end. It's an Amazon on company. My home is a smart home. I just got my hands on the Echo Dot 4th Gen. If you want to see that video, it's on the channel already. They do offer a cloud service, which is a subscription-based service. We'll find out how much that is upon setting it up. You do get a free trial. We'll find out how long that is for as well. There is going to be a local storage. Record and store video clips to the Blink Storage Hub coming soon in your home and view them in your Blink app from anywhere. No monthly fees required. So that's going to be nice when the Hub does come into play. This does have two-way audio, so you can listen and speak. That's great for such a small camera as well. Has night vision, of course. Motion detection alerts, which is great. And you can push this to your Echo Show. So, of course, we're going to show you that in real live time. All right, inside the box there and underneath my thumb is a QR code. I'm going to go ahead and cover that up because this is the internet. Inside the box is our small camera. So let's go ahead and grab this on out of here. Also inside the box, we have our mounting screws, our wall adapter there, USB, and then our USB power plug here. If you are curious, tip to tip is about guesstimation six foot long cable length. You have a micro USB on this side to a USB. Then of course that would connect into this wall adapter here, which is running five volt, one amp. So let's go ahead and remove this sticker here. And first impressions, you know, just a small, it's plastic completely, just a small camera though. And the field of view is gonna be 110 degrees diagonal. This thing does a very nice job, so small, up to 30 frames per second recording, full 1080p HD with a size of 2 inches by 1.9 inches by 1.4 inches, and that is 50 millimeters, 49 millimeters by 36 millimeters, weighing in at only 1.7 ounces, 48 grams. We have our microphone input here, Blink logo here, what looks to be night vision lights here and here. Another, some sort of LED light or something right on the top right there. Swivels, moves, pivots, and tilts, all that fun stuff there. You can, of course, mount that on a wall. Having it come down like this, you guys get the idea there. Swivels and mounts. Let me go ahead and cover up this, and I'll show you the back. There is the QR code on the back again. That's where your power plug inserts, right in that slot right there. Your two-way audio speaker to hear for the person around the camera to hear your voice through the app comes out of this, obviously. And then to hear them is going to be the microphone again right above the Blink logo here. The only thing on the bottom is your reset button right there. All right, let's go ahead and set this guy up. Hey guys, I want to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, which is Manscaped. They have come out with their brand new Lawnmower 3.0, which is absolutely fantastic. Comes with a clip guard. I trim all my hair, leg hair, underarm hair, body hair. Is waterproof. You can use this in the shower. Has an LED light, long lasting battery. And now they're offering their brand new performance package. If you guys want 20% off your performance package or any other product they offer, you Use my code TIPS20. That includes free shipping, free international shipping if you're overseas, and they're giving you guys two free gifts as well. We have boxers, which are phenomenal. We have the Preserver. We have the Reviver. Of course, the Lawnmower 3.0. Your charging cables, the boxers, and underneath is going to be your travel bag. They also make a nose and ear trimmer, the Weed Whacker. Check that out. And they also make the Shears 2.0, a luxury grooming kit for your nails. You can check out my 
videos for this. And they also make colognes if you want to smell good. Check out their cologne and their cleanser hair and body wash as well. It's a one-stop shop. They're making awesome products. Again, that code is TIPS20. 20% off your entire order. Order whatever you want. Use that code for 20% off free shipping. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. All right, so we are in the app. It was pretty easy to connect it all. I'm very familiar with security cameras. My channel has a lot of security cameras that I have reviewed. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Right off the bat, my first impressions, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that video symbol here. And I'm gonna be honest with you, my first impressions, it's clean. Yes, we do have a little bit of the sunlight coming in, kind of a little bit of a haze kind of washing out the camera. The camera is actually very small. Uh, it looks, of course, HD to the left and very clean over by the guitar. But let's go ahead and zoom into myself. And I definitely look a little pixelated there. That definitely doesn't look 1080p to me. In the settings, I have changed it to the best as well. And my internet is actually very fast. Again, the guitar looks more clean, but it might be because it's washing out from the windows here where we'll, of course, test some different shots. But over there towards the projector, it looks very clean. I just might be a little bit more pixelated, washed out like I just said. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. First, we're gonna check out, again, I have really good internet. We're gonna go ahead and check out lag time now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand flat, and as I'm speaking, we're gonna find out what's going on with lag time here. So one, two, three, arm is up, and that was about one second, or maybe less than one second, bringing my hand back down. One, two, three, arm is up, and that is almost one second. So not bad, not bad at all. One, two, three, right foot up, Okay, one, two, three, right foot up. Okay, so about the same thing. Almost a second, if not a second on the dot, lag time, delay time. My camera is very close to my router, so there's no interference, blah, blah, blah. So you're gonna get a little lag time. Of course, it is Wi-Fi camera. So of course, you can do two-way speech and listen. You can speak what's going on. I've tested them both, unfortunately, due to screen capture. It's just not gonna pick it up, but it works very well. My voice is very loud, and of course, you can go ahead and change that in the settings. Let's go ahead and look at settings here. We're gonna go ahead and tap up there above the picture. We're gonna go ahead and tap this right here. Now they have some really sweet settings here. You can rename it here, and that's what you're gonna tell your Amazon device to push to. The name is Living Room for Mine. We're gonna go ahead and, and of course show you that on my Echo Show next. Motion detection I have enabled. Now this is kind of cool, the activity zones. Check this out here. So let's say you have some pets or a toddler or something or other. Uh, walking around and it's tripping up your motion detection. Then you check off these boxes and you update photo. Uh, you uncheck them if you wanna go ahead and cancel that. So you're, you're gonna get less false notifications with that hit done when you're ready to go. Uh, Retrigger time, you can toggle that. Sensitivity, you also can toggle that. Clip length, you can toggle that as well. In clip early, if motion stops, you can toggle that on or off. Early notification, that's actually a beta testing right there. Motion recording, I have checked on, and night vision is on auto right now. IR intensity is set to medium. Enable microphone, yes. Speaker volume, I have up towards high, so if you don't want the speaker volume coming out of your Blink Mini as loud, toggle that down a little bit. Quality, I actually had to switch over to best. It was on standard when I first downloaded the app. If you've mounted this camera on your wall, you can flip it underneath quality there. And then the status LED light, if you want this camera stealth with no LED lights when it is recording or picking up motion detection, then turn that status LED light off. Upon unboxing it and connecting it, I actually had to update the firmware. It didn't take very long. And you can change your Wi-Fi, et cetera, down below. The settings are pretty much very basic. You also have this camera thing here in the bottom right hand of the view right there. You go ahead and hit that, and it's gonna save a still shot to your camera roll. All right, let's go ahead and look at the video storage now here. As I set this up, this was about a couple days ago. It's late October of 2020. So it looks like they're giving me just a hair over a two month period. They're giving me till the end of the year for a free trial plan with my Blink Mini camera. It's saying here that after your free trial, again, that's for the end of the year, 2020, after my free trial, you have the power to choose how to store your video clips in the cloud with 
with the Blink subscription plan or locally with a Blink Sync Module 2. But if you already have an X-T camera or an X-T2 camera, please note any of those cameras and legacy indoor cameras will continue to include free cloud storage always with no subscription plan required. So it looks like the Blink Mini camera, it's just a small trial, and then they want you to sign up for their subscription-based system plan or grab the Blink Sync Module 2. I'll plan to get my hands on one of those and review that as well, so stay tuned. Well guys, I'm definitely glad that I'm checking a different angle here as we're not getting washed out from the living room here. So as you can see here, we got a little bit of golden hour light coming in my front door here, and I look a lot better. Let's go ahead and take a look at my side profile. If someone were to walk in and they're like, hey, what am I gonna grab? What am I gonna steal in the house? You know what I'm saying? What's this camera right here? <laughs> Check that out, huh? We're looking really, really good. Now, if you wanna see your playbacks down here at the bottom under disarmed, you're gonna go ahead and tap that there and you're gonna see your recorded to the cloud clips and those little orange dot circles next to the time and date are the ones you have not seen already. Let's try this one here and see how fast this one will load. That one loaded very quickly. Wow. My voice is very loud and of course you can go ahead. Hopefully you might have been able to detect that noise coming through screen capture. Let's go ahead and try uh, this one again. It might have been, yeah. So that's going, that's going really quickly here. So it just took a little bit of time. And of course you can go to filter if you want to keep track of things. You can uncheck motion, you can uncheck that, you can uncheck that, you can leave them all checked if you want. All right guys, here we are in live view. So let's go ahead and cut these lights off and let's check out this night vision here. This would just be if you had like a nightstand table light on there. As we can see, the now it is dark out the doors here. So let's go ahead and cut these lights. Turn off living room light. All right, so it clicks right over. And as you can see, that's actually very clear and nice as well. A little bit of light right through my face here with the cell phone. Uh, let's go ahead and lower that down just a little bit, that uh, brightness of my cell phone. But that's not going to really matter at all. Look at how bright that is shining right over. Let's see, as you're going to see, you're going to see kind of down to your left-hand screen bottom, that's kind of like a rocking chair with a uh, blanket draped over the top. So that's what you're looking at over here. You got my electric dirt bikes behind me here. Of course, the lamp, you can see I actually have a beard and my hair is slicked back a little bit there, looking real fresh. My guitar over here in the corner, my disc golf basket over there in the left corner, your left screen corner, fan above, and my 125 inch projector straight in front of you with my projector right here next to me. That's a very clear shot, looking absolutely fantastic. So they've done a great job with that night vision for a very small camera. Now here is a very key feature. Obviously I'm not on live mode right now, but I am in the app. So down here at the bottom, it says disarmed and armed. If you have it toggled, which I have it toggled to disarmed, you will not have any push notifications to your mobile phone or tablet. But once we click it over to armed, then once it picks up motion detection, living room system is now armed. But right up here in the top, it's showing blink 255 motion clip. And I go ahead and tap on that and then it'll lead into directly into my app as I come around the corner and look right at it. So that is a great feature. So we're gonna test that one more time. We're just gonna walk right in front of the camera again and see how fast that comes up after it grabs my, it's going through right now. There it goes. Okay, two clips. So that was within seconds. And again, that so we're gonna test that one more circle. time. We're just gonna walk right in front of the camera again and see how fast that comes up after it grabs. That's great. That sounds great. Clip. Too. And I go ahead and tap on that and then it'll lead into directly into my app as I come around the corner and look right at it. So that is all right, guys, this is where it gets nice and juicy here. So you have to link in your Alexa app. You have to link the skills. Sorry, I'm going to have to use the trigger word here. I'm going to go ahead and edit out the trigger word, but I connected it in my Amazon app. This is the Echo Show 5, and I have the camera disabled. This is a really sweet feature if you want privacy 
and it also has microphone off completely. In the top left, you hit that, microphone goes into privacy mode. This is a sweet device. I'm looking forward to when I get my hands on the Echo Show 8. These are gonna make really cool Christmas stocking stuffers. Black Friday gifts, as you can tell, it's my alarm clock as well on the bedside table. So displays, obviously some pretty sweet things up here. Anyway, let's get back to it. Because I have named it living room, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and edit out the trigger word once again. Show living room camera. Okay. Okay, we're right here live with you. Four seconds. Ah, that was very clean. That was about four or five second connection time. Very nice. And I can actually hear my voice that is being echoed because the Blink camera is picking it up and it's coming out of this speaker here. That is actually very cool. My house isn't too big, so it's about maybe 30 feet down the hallway or so. But here's the shot of the back room, as you can see. That's really cool. Cancel showing living room camera. And it goes back to that. Very nice. So let's say you hear some noise. Show living room camera. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hey, very nice. That's very quick. They did a great job with that. So if you guys are going to get this camera, definitely pick up a at least a Show 5. They're the most cheapest ones. They have a Show 5, a Show 8, and a Show 10 as well. Once again, all those links are going to be down below in the description box right below the video. But just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. It is a very sweet camera with a lot of cool features. Pick yourself up an Echo Show. Pick yourself a Blink Mini camera. And thank you once again to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. My code will also be down below in the description box for 20% off your order. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe on your way out. Again, the links are below. We will see you on the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.